Pocatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the good news is our roadways are damp despite seeing some light snow and flurries falling over the last couple of hours. We have a little more to get through before we start to see some clearing. As we look at our live camera in Providence, very light snow falling here. If you look hard enough, you may be able to see a few flakes flying around. It's 33 degrees and it feels like 29. Winds aren't bad. They're out of the south southwest at five miles per hour right now. So the back edge of the snow shower activity is just now about east of Hartford. And as you get west of Hartford, the skies are already clearing out. The Sunshine. So as these snow showers move through, we actually have an opportunity to end the day with a few rays of sun returning. It's behind this cold front. That front's going to continue to slide east and push the snow shower activity offshore. So if you're headed out and about now through about two o'clock in the afternoon, some snow showers will continue to move through at the coastline and be mixed with or change over to some very light rain showers and sprinkles. And you can see at two o'clock in the afternoon how a lot of that is sliding out of Rhode Island and across southeastern Massachusetts. And this is showing another ice isolated sprinkle or possibly a flurry at five o'clock in the evening. Again, those are few and far between by the early evening hours and behind that the skies will clear out once again as uh, we'll start off tomorrow morning dry and the daylight hours of tomorrow dry. So with the light snow just melting in most spots as it falls to the ground, we're going to see our threat tracker in the green for today and tomorrow, but I do have my eye on tomorrow night. Now there's an offshore system. Most of our computer models have it far away, not out of the question. We get a few hours of light snow and possibly a small accumulation. So we've got to keep an eye on the Wednesday morning commute for possibly some slippery spots. We're looking pretty good out there right now. Again, the roadways are mostly just damp despite the temperatures still at around 30 in Smithfield, 33 in Providence and New Bedford, 34 in Newport. So your commute home, it's mainly dry because it's an isolated shower, but damp roadways expected. The sun going down at 430 in the afternoon. Tonight will drop to around 30 degrees by dawn tomorrow morning, and I expect it to be clearing out with the skies. Uh, mainly clear when you wake up. So some sunshine to begin the day tomorrow, but it doesn't last. You can see the clouds on the increase afternoon highs around 40 degrees. This is what I'm tracking for your Tuesday. So oh, area of low pressure moving off the mid Atlantic coastline by noon on Tuesday. From there it tracks well south and east of our area, but we make it clip by the northern edge of it. So 10 o'clock at night possibility of some light snow moving through. This is at midnight and winding down by dawn on Wednesday morning. So the will be moving out and our skies will do it, be doing some clearing behind that. So any snowfall at this point looking very minor, even to say an inch is maybe a little bit of a stretch. We could wake up to a coating half an inch of snow uh, for Tuesday night. So we'll keep you updated on that as new data comes in throughout the day today. Upper 30s to around 40 degrees next few days. That's all near normal. Then we've got a brief shot of cold air for Thursday. Sunshine highs only in the lower 30s and the wind chill in the morning running in the single digits. Then we look ahead to the end of the week and the weekend. What a turnaround near 50 on Friday with a few showers by the end of the day. Some scattered showers possible on Saturday highs between 55 and 60. Then we've got some rain Saturday night ending through the first half of Sunday.